Now we know Rockstar's next confirmed title to be released is going to be Red Dead Redemption 2, but have they hidden their next possible title after this within GTA 5? There is a slight possibility. So throughout Rockstar's history, they have never been a stranger to hiding things within their game. From minor Easter eggs such as a literal chocolate Easter egg to subtle references to their next game and where it's going to take place as seen in GTA 3 with the See You in Miami billboard and Less than a year later, we got GTA Vice City taking place in a fictional Miami. So you really can't put it past Rockstar when it comes to hiding things in their game. And today I'm very excited to share some awesome information with you guys in regards to this. Uh, and Rockstar possibly hiding the location and a setting from their next game within GTA 5. So if you guys do enjoy Help a Brother Out, give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's always greatly appreciated. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So way back in 2009 at the E3 press conference that year, Rockstar announced a project they've been working on and this was a title by the name of Agent. And Agent basically takes players on a paranoid journey into the world of counterintelligence, espionage, and political assassinations during the height of the Cold War at the end of the 1970s. So it would essentially be a modern day James Bond game with elements from Rockstar Games, which I think would be really cool just from that short, brief description. Uh, I would love to play this game. I know that for a fact. And also, fun fact, this is like one of Rockstar's only games to take place in the 1970s, which is cool. Uh, I believe The Warriors takes place in the late 1970s or the early 1980s. But uh, other than that, we don't have another Rockstar game that takes place within this time period. So it would be cool to explore the 1970s uh, created by Rockstar. Now, if we backtrack and just take a look at a timeline of the game Agent, we can see some interesting things. So originally, the concept of the game was created sometime around 2003. It was scrapped and nothing was heard about it until 2007, where the idea was published by Rockstar Games. And... It wasn't until 2009 that we actually got the title and details of the project. This was, of course, announced at E3. In 2010, this was supposed to be the projected release year for the game. That never came. 2011, Take-Two confirmed that the game was still in development. In 2012, Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick, when asked about Agent, says, We haven't announced anything about that title, which is interesting because two years before at E3, you guys did. In 2013, Sony Studio Boss was asked about Agent still being a PS3 exclusive or just a PlayStation exclusive. And he said, you're asking the wrong person. I do have some knowledge, but I'm not in a position to talk about it. So that's interesting right there. Definitely raises some eyebrows because these guys know about the game, but they can't talk about it. And it's been so many years. And instead of just saying, hey, we scrapped the title, people are being weird about it. So... In 2016, this is like the last update we have gotten for Agent on December 2nd of that year, I believe. Take-Two actually refiled the trademarks for Agent, meaning, hey, we're kind of bringing this back to life. So, a few years ago, an artist for Agent actually uploaded some concepts to his portfolio. He worked on the game, but he said he was actually taken off of this project and the game Agent to work on GTA 5 and to focus on this one primarily. Very understandable there. Uh, GTA 5 is what brings in the money, of course. But in 2015, they were actually removed from his portfolio. But good thing I keep these things handy. You guys can take a look right here at some of these concept images from Agent, as well as on the official website for this game. It just says coming soon. That's all it says. So there's no confirmed date or anything like that. But this is where things get interesting so you're probably wondering okay how does this game correlate with gta 5 and the title is this a clickbait video no this is not so in gta 5 if we go to backlot city if you don't know what that is that's actually what the movie studio is called it's the official name for it and uh, we can actually take a look around and one area in particular looks very much like these concepts from agent that I just showed you guys. And when I see this area, I've always thought of like a seaside town somewhere in Italy or Greece, but I guess it could just be anywhere really. Uh, nonetheless, being that the movie studio looks just like these images we have from Agent, could it be a subtle nod from Rockstar Games to this mysterious game that they've been working on for like 15 years now? Or is it just pure coincidence? Is it an Easter egg? 
I'm not sure. I can't 100% confirm anything, but I, I just find this topic very intriguing. Now, Rockstar has never gone to this extent before to hide a location or hint at their next game within their current title. But as I stated earlier on in the video, we do see in GTA 3, for example, the See You in Miami billboard, which we found out later was hinting towards the location and setting of Rockstar's next game. So could this be the same thing hidden within GTA 5 and referencing Agent, or could this just be a leftover, unused area from Agent that Rockstar put into the game because they are never going to release the game Agent? Also... Uh, back in the day, Rockstar and Take-Two actually said that Agent was hopefully going to be on the level of the GTA series, and it was going to be that good, but we will never know, unfortunately. So, we're not done yet, though. There's one more thing I want to talk about. It's a mission in the GTA 5 campaign called Deep Inside, where Franklin has to break into the movie studio. He steals a white tuxedo, very similar to something James Bond would wear. A secret or undercover agent in the movie world. If you guys haven't seen the James Bond movies, I'd recommend you to do so. They're kind of old now. They do make some modern ones, but they are all very, very good. Nonetheless, we proceed to steal a car called the JB700. And if we take a look at the name, JB is the James Bond 700 and James Bond is known as Agent 007 in the James Bond movie, so 700 is 007 backwards. Uh, that's something to take into consideration there. James Bond actually drives the same car in the older movies, and the license plate, interestingly enough, reads Agent. So that's kind of a double entendre there, if that makes any sense to you guys. Basically, we break into the movie studio. Uh, we've got like a big James Bond reference here because it's in a movie studio, James Bond movies, but also. We are breaking into a movie studio, dressing as an agent, stealing an agent's car, and escaping from a movie studio that's based on a game that was supposed to be called Agent. So, that's my thesis there. I can't confirm anything 100%, but I do find it very interesting to talk about, and I did want to share it with you guys and shed some light on this, because I've always just been intrigued by the game Agent and the fact that it's so mysterious because... It's supposedly been in development for so long, so either it's going to be the super game uh, of the world, it's going to be the best game ever released, or it's just Rockstar's way of not coming out and saying that, hey, we scrapped this project. If we get time, we will work on it, but until then, we're not going to focus on it. So who knows exactly, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's try and break 1,000 likes on this video. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss out on another daily video game upload. But with that said and out the way, I believe that's just about it. Thank you guys for stopping by. My name is Zach Cox, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.